Come on, say your future is bright. And tell them, don't wait till God does it. Come on, give God a, a praise in advance. I said, give God a praise in advance. That God got more for you in the future than you've seen up to now. It won't always be like this. God will perfect that concerning you. And sooner or later, it's going to turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. Come on, touch somebody around, tell them, it won't always. I said, touch somebody, say, it won't always be like this. Tell them, say, God will perfect that concerning. And sooner or January, sooner February, December, sooner or later, it's going to turn in your favor. Oh, it's turning around for me. Some of y'all ain't shouted in a long time. Some of y'all ain't screamed in a long time. I'm telling you, today is a day for you to lift up that shout and lift up that praise. Because God told me it's turning around for you. beneath first and not last turning around turning around for me his name oh bless his name I said oh bless his name oh bless his name listen your past does not determine your future it just doesn't. It just doesn't. 
God can take your past, clean you up and strengthen you. And use what you've been through to help you win other people to Christ. I got a testimony today of what God is able to do because I've been through some rough patches. Oh, yes, I have. This is what God says to you today. I know the plans I have for you. And they're plans of good and not evil. They're plans of peace to bring you to a predetermined expected end. I already knew what you was going to do. And I planned it into my purpose for your life. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody give God a praise that your future is bright. Oh, glory. Every hand ought to be clapping. Every hand ought to be clapping. Come on, let me see your hands clapping. Every hand. My future is bright. My future is bright. Thank you, Jesus. And now if you're here, would you please um, join hands with your neighbor? Somebody next to you might need to make a decision today to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior or to unite with this church. Let me tell you, if you come today and you hear all of this and see all of this and walk away without knowing Jesus, it's a horrible shame. But if you hear this and you see how it impacts the lives of others, it ought to make you decide, I want some of that. It all starts with you confessing Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. So if you're here today and you've never received Christ, today is your day to come. Don't put it off to tomorrow because tomorrow ain't even promised. The only time you really have is right now. Yesterday is gone. If you don't have a church home, I'm biased, but I love this church. We're by no means perfect, but if you understood the word I preach, you feel the spirit of God in this place, and you feel the joy of the people in this place, this might be the church for you. If you've been coming for more than six months, this is your church. <laughs> Today is your day to make a decision. Let's pray. Two have already come by the grace of God. Come on, give God a good praise for the early comers. Thank y'all. Come on, baby. You ain't got to wait till I finish praying. You can just get up and come. Everybody got that hand? Let's pray. Father God, thank you for my neighbor. And now I pray, if my neighbor needs to walk down there and make a decision when I finish this prayer give them courage to stand and go and I'll give you the praise in Jesus name amen and praise God come on y'all where you at in the balcony in the balcony on the main floor come come God bless you, baby. Come on, sir. I see you, young man. The Lord will protect that. Come on, come on. Come on to Jesus. Come on, unite with this church. I see y'all coming. Oh, look at God. Look at God. Look at him coming. Finish the year strong. Finish the year strong. 
bless you, young man. I see it won't always. It won't always be like this. The Lord will protect that. Come on, is that some more? I see you coming. Come on up, baby. Come on up. Thank you, Lord. Turn to your neighbor. Turn to your neighbor. Say neighbor on both sides. Say neighbor. Y'all say it. Y'all say neighbor. 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 If you need somebody to walk down there with you, I'll go with you. Now ask them, do you want to go? Do you want to go? And if they say yes, you grab their hand and you get out of your seat and you walk them down here. Come on, choir. Come on, choir. Sooner or later. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at God. Look at God.
That's wonderful. Now here's what I'm going to ask. We are going to dismiss in just about, about 10 minutes. We're going to see the Lord's Supper. And then I'm asking nobody to leave unless you absolutely have to work or something like that. Just let's be faithful to God today and let's all leave together. Let's hear the benediction together. And let's leave together. Give God a good praise for all these new members that have come. Thank God for y'all being the first. Did any of you come because you've never received Jesus Christ and you want to receive him today? All right, these two young men on the end want to receive Christ. Bless you, young man. Well, young men are received. You know, when God saves a man, he saves a household. Over 90% of households led by saved men end up having saved children. Do y'all hear me? When God puts a saved man in a house, he saves a household. Praise the Lord. God bless you, young men. Thank God for you.